Okay, well, welcome guys, I'm back. <clears throat> this is the unboxing um, that I'm gonna be doing. Um, this is uh, the unboxing for um, the Urban Tarot deck. Now, I've been watching this deck for quite some time. Um, it is a wonderful deck. I And uh, what is so amazing about this deck, this is uh, done by um, a transgender, okay? Um, so um, I'm so amazing by this deck. I've always loved it. And I finally, finally uh, ordered it last year. It wasn't here. Um, and finally it has arrived. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen, but um, I had to open it. <laughs> I had to open it. So it is the Herban Tarot deck, and I love it because it has the energies of the elements. Um, as you can see, this is a fire element, okay? And this is uh, um, water, and this is hair, and this is heart. So I love this. It's so beautiful. The colors tell you which element it is. Now, it is a beautiful box, and I love um, when the decks are done with these beautiful box because they actually keeps my cards very, very good, okay? I don't like fold-up cards if I use one deck too much. Now, this deck was done by Robin Scott. Robin Scott is a New Yorker. Yay, 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 girl! <laughs> okay, so she is a transit sky frau, um, she lives in New York with her um, wife. It is a beautiful deck. She has done wonderful work. And it says, a map to your inner city, a love letter in 78 cards, um, a set of symbol made to aid the modern seeker of Tarek inside and magical living in the urban um landscape okay so this is just fab 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 and more fab i'm so amazing with this deck i haven't used it yet so i just opened it because i wanted to see it. it was sunday i was having my coffee and i wanted to see it and it says the unique vision of the Tarek comes with an 84 page guidebook it's beautiful i've seen it i'll show you and the deck by the artist. So um, if you want to pick up this deck, you can pick it up at theherbantarek.com. Theherbantarek.com. I personally don't know her, but I watch and I look at people who does a very good work. Look at this. My amazing thing about this box is because it's white with gray, but look at how it is. And it has the infinity symbol. So if you notice, um, and what I love is the red inside. There's something about me and red inside box that is just so amazing. This is what it looks like. So that is a book. It's basically, it's so beautiful. I see inside of the box when you open the box. I love it. It's a very, very nicely packed box. Okay, so I took this out. And this is what the book looks like. It's a beautiful. It's well done. It's well put together. Um, I would advise people to pick up this. It is the Urban Tarot deck. Now, this is what the book looks like. It's gorgeous. I love the way she present here. She used people from her life in order to bring out the message. And I think that that is the most beautiful. Look at this. This is so gorgeous. There's a letter in it and it says, you have been told that there is no magic in your city. You have been told that your world is gray, cold, and still. You have heard that the time of miracles has passed, that the wonders has been forgotten. What do you believe? This deck is a guide for the 20th century seekers struggling to find insight and understanding in the urban ex um, environment. It is a set of Asian symbol um, designing to help you to see the miracles in the modern and the mundane world. Broaden the train line that eats into the city, trails and journey with us, feels the power, publish 
um, between the poles made to the music of the traffic and breathe in the smell of the smoke and smack of hot pizzas and the impossible. Within these cards, you will find the similar and the fantastic sharing a fourth story work up apartment where the avenues of dreams and reality became aboard all aboard all aboard all right i was smiling and people um you guys could be wondering why i'm smiling it's because new york plays a significant role i love a new york i've lived there like all my life and it has been just beautiful and then i came to europe and this is a um, what happened? I, New York is just one of those cities. I would never um, live somewhere else than there. Um, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. So what we have here is the energy of the fool. And I love these cards because they're so beautiful and so amazing. With every one of it, she has the infinity sign. And a lot of people do not know why I use 888 in my videos. It's actually infinity because I'm a multi-dimension. So it's infinity. Look at this. This is just so beautiful. She has done such a beautiful work. It is a modern day person is thinking about springing from the top of a building in New York because they've had enough with life. And it's so fabulous, so beautiful. Okay. Then we have the energy of the magician, and this is so wonderful. And I love that she uses this person, um, and there is the infinity sign. If you notice, there's so many messages in her, um, in her built and in her paintings. And there again is the energy of the infinity sign, a piano, a musician that has so much to give to humanity. And there is the sword and there is the pentacles and there is the cup. Okay. And as you look around, how beautiful it is transpired in your world. It is just one of the most beautiful thing. And if you notice in all of the sign, the infinity, the infinity is also on the back of the card. And this is what the back looks like. I should have showed you the back in the beginning, but this is what the back looks like. And this is what the front look like. And it is so amazing because this is the eye princess. And who would believe that the eye princess take a bot? Yes, um, she does. Okay. And this is wonderful because she's in serenity and she's taking a bot, but she's connecting with the angels and guides and you can see the auras and the energy of the angels and the candle in the background and this is absolutely beautiful because we need to get to the modern day we're getting we're going to be starting a new era so we have to change the energy of the tarot deck now one of my most favorite um is the energy of the empress okay the energy of the empress is so beautiful this is a woman um, that is um, giving food to her child, which is just absolutely fabulous, absolutely beautiful. There you can see the number of the card and the name is here. It's, it's, it's wonderful. I have nothing to say. Now the hamper is the husband, the businessman. And this is what I've been always trying to teach people that the emperor is a businessman. It's this powerful person who tries to use his powers in good and bad ways. And this is the energy of the emperor. If you notice uh, um, the, the energy of the positive feeling of uh, um, being free, but yet still bringing peace. But it's it comes up as a, um, this is a, um, the green flower of peace. And if you can notice the symbol here that is transpiring. So it's absolutely beautiful. Then we have uh, the energy of the hierophant. Um, he comes up as the priest. Okay, whoever this person is, uh, um, the hierophant is organization, institution. There is just so many information that is given in the stack uh, where the dove, this is peace. Here is the symbol also of the symbol of also another symbol of peace. Here is the three circles together. So beautiful deck. The energy of the lovers is coming up. And um, this is the most beautiful thing. It's just 
two persons who is getting married and if you notice she used the man and the woman and this is absolutely fabulous and it's like two souls that is going to be entwined for the rest of their lives and this is why I say to people marriage is very serious but people do not understand now I love the energy of the chariot it is the sports car it is your dream car it is the car you have been open and dreaming for your entire and entire life and this is so fabulous so beautiful this is just so wonderful um, because we're seeing this energy comes up then we see justice blind justice and I when I saw this first I was like oh yeah mm -hmm. you grow up in New York and if you notice this is is blind justice and it's just so um beautiful the way it is depicted okay um it is not a woman the scales are behind but justice is blind justice is blind and you can see this but yet still the sword of truth is here in the center it's a beautiful deck i will advise people to get it then we have the hermit and the hermit who is the hermit because a lot of people are saying that the virgos are the hermit virgos are no hermit this is the energy of a water sign this person is sitting down and going within and it's going to be finding out uh, um, the secrets behind everything that is happening he is seeing the world in another eye he's shedding light on the world as to what is going on and this is just so fabulous so, then we have the wheel of fortune I was a little disappointed in wheel of fortune um I would have think a little 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 disappointed in the wheel of fortune but I see the, the what she's trying to say is that you know you can win the lottery but you can lose it the next day because you win and you appreciate it some people win it and lose it in a couple of months so the wheel of fortune can give you bring you good and bad it depends on what and how you use the energy as we look at strength I see this woman um, trying to balance out things in her life and this is just so beautiful because this really depicts the energy of strength and this is the number 11 and it depicts the energy of strength duality okay and this is um so good because it there's this woman that is trying to um you know hold the beast within her the energy of the eggman is so beautiful i really really love this this is a mother day man that is drunk get intoxicated everything is flying out you can see it and then when it returns you see all the money and the stuff from out his pockets is flying out and it's so absolutely absolutely fabulous so really really good now debt i love this love love this this is just one of not these dooming cards okay um because a lot of people that is transformation and this is showing that this person is doing an autopsy on someone that has passed away to the spirit world and this is really a good depictment because all the rest has uh, um this negative force is holding people to bondage and this is like hey it's just that someone is crossing over there's changes that is coming up so this is another fabulous deck then we have uh, the heart shape of uh, the tower the tower uh no the balance balance so this is temperance and it's heart and there you can see the depict of the angels behind as it depicts because um the um the um star and the balance card it is the angel your guided angels that is working and protecting you behind the scenes and there it is it is the most beautiful beautiful this card is absolutely fabulous it depicts what balance is and what the name is all about then we have the devil and this is so so fantastic it is just this guy stroke out on everything and really just getting up from and if you see um the aura is horror around him and all his brokenness self out the shackle 
he just got out of jail and is having his first cigarette and everything is going on there. So powerful. So absolutely powerful. Energy of the Tower is here. Energy of the Tower. I love this depictment because it's like um, the organ that is falling in the sea. It's like a flood. Okay. It's not like fire. It's like a flood. There's no one falling off the top of it. It's a flood. It's as if for the next time it's going to be flood and not fire. So this is absolutely absolutely fabulous i love the energy of the tower the star the star and this is what i said the energy of the angels if you look behind here um that beautiful star of healing and this woman in this white depicted york that is healing herself but also healing the energy of the planet and that is it whenever you pray you pray and you pray strong. Now, the energy of the moon is just so... Look at that. Now, if you notice these signs here, they give the symbols. These are um, ancient, um, uh, historical symbol, ancient symbols that she's returning in um and this is just sealed so secretive because it's like secret things if you notice the animals here um she is the mystical she is the cultic the celtic god and so beautiful absolutely fabulous i always see um the cancers this this um um secrets of the moon with the celtic gods um the rituals and this is just a uh, so powerfully um pictured bam the energy of the sun isn't this wonderful it is just just this little child that has just realized that he can walk he's seen the world in a beautiful way and this is absolutely fabulous to use the energy of the sun um, to bring and use a child with the sun, the yellow and the green prosperity health. It's saying everything about what the sun positive energy. If you look at the hair of the child, it's golden. It's beautiful. Um, and it's so wonderful. Um, she thought about this very well, um, by putting these cards together. Then we have judgment. And we have judgment of this person realizing what is happening around them, um, realizing that, oh, my God, you know, the city is about to flood. What are we going to do? These barriers are not going to be holding it up for long. So this is just so fabulous and so positive because we're seeing now the truth about what is going on around us. And we're trying to create better realities for ourselves. So that is beautiful. Now the world, this was another one that, I would, but I do understand. I do understand. Um, you know, the world seems to be beautiful, but is it really beautiful? And she feels absolutely beautiful, but the world around her is not that beautiful. I do understand where you're coming from. And see the, the, the cross, the cross, you know, these are the palm trees branch, which is how I say for peace within the world. So Fabby, Fabby, Fab. All right, we're going to be first looking at the ones element. Um, and here we go. All right, my first view of this was um, why not wood? But she used, um, this looks like metal. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. This is uh, um, the crest in New York, Satin Island. Um, this is beautiful because you are seeing um this was given to the american government by the french after the world war and it's a uh, um, peace okay the flame that always is burning okay the, the statue of liberty okay and that is a new start and that was very nicely done the statue of liberty okay so the freedom of the french um the they gave america if you notice the symbol, this is a triangle. And as you notice the back of it, and this is um, the um, the hacker. 
the hacker. This is the um, the Prince of Swords, the energy of the hacker. Okay. All right. So hold on. Hold your horses. Let's do the swords, people. So we, 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 we had the first one with the ones, but we're going in. So the swords, people are the hacker. And the Prince of Swords come up as the Aqua because th th this is the investigator. Um, this is the espionage. This is a, um, the, you know, whoever is investigating what, but they can also be hackers, okay? Then we have the activity with the Prince of Swords, the Princess of Swords. And the Princess of Swords is an Aquarian, Gemini, or Libran. And this is very smart people, very smart people, always thinking, always looking um, and creating the future. So, you know, it's very, very much depicted. This is a woman that is seen more in the future than what is there. And they're protruding in the future. The Ace of Swords. I love this. I definitely love this. Um, it's about traveling. It's about moving further. It's about communication. It's about the hair. Um, if you notice this crystal, this opening, this is uh, the French, the revolution of so many different um, countries, cultures is put together. And this is the energy of the swords that is a metal. And this is good. So wonderful. Peace comes to a world that is full of hatred. And she, the way she depicts it is so beautiful because the sun is behind showing the light and the truth to what you weren't seeing, unveiling the illusion, okay? Unveiling the illusion. And now the three of swords, sorrows, hurt, pain, blood, murders, um, finding someone, your neighbor been murdered. And if you notice, I love this way because what is transpiring is that this is given, it is normal. It is the um, the normality of what is happening. We're no longer in the 18th, 15th centuries, okay? And this is coming up so good. The Four of Swords is a truck, and a whole lot of people start calling it a truck because it's about um, legalities, okay? It's about bringing balance to the spirit, to the world, but it's most about legalities. It's like stepping back from the world. You're in the middle of it, but you step back to see the truth of what is going on. And this is fabulous. And um, regrets, regrets, uh, conflicts, regrets, conflicts, um, thoughts, everything is going through your head and you can see it. Your thoughts is from springing from place to place and place to place and trying to resolve everything that is going on. The heart, the ladies, everything that is going on is the, 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 your brain is going like 20 seconds. Okay. Science. And this is what I've been um, explaining to people. The six of swords is um, forward movement, but the six of swords in alchemy, it's about deceptive people. Um, doing deceptive things, okay? And um, using um, the unseen world to create re uh, um, illusion, okay? So uh, this is what I always say. Once this comes up, depicting the card before and after, you know exactly what the person and what that is all about. Then we have the seven of swords. This is really deceptiveness, okay? This is lies, not speaking. This is trying to steal something that is not yours. Um, really creating things to create, to block all these people and the borders. So this is really absolutely good and fabulous because it's showing up the deceptiveness behind something that you're not aware of, okay? Then we have... Uh, um, interin interference. Okay. Uh-huh. Interference. And this is when deceptive people want things to come out their ways and they will use the six of swords in order to create the seven of swords to have interference. Okay. So a lot of people think my, you know, and, and this is it. Um, you know, reading cards is very, very, um, hard. Um, if you're not aware of what you're doing, um, you know, people do this in different ways, but I, I actually understand where she's coming from. And this is it. It's the urban time. It's the now time. Cruelty. 
is when you hurt a child, when you create um, negative thoughts in order to create destruction for another person. Okay, and this, as she has depicted, so good so people can understand what these energies are all about, what this message is all about. Is you really abusing a baby that can't fight for itself? Okay, ruin. You cannot go any further. It's all about total ruin, drugs, alcohol. You name it, totally ruined. The body is over, totally ruined. You have killed a person 10 times over and this is it, okay? You have the drugs, you have everything here going on that can happen bad. And this is so wonderful to pick because this is the energy of the urban deck. Then we are going to be looking at the Knight of Swords. And the Knight of Swords, um, it's a young man. And this knight is someone who is very creative, very smart, very creative. He spends his time um, trying to figure out things, okay? And if you notice, this is someone who is an inventor. So he spends his time um, um, thinking about things. Now, the Queen of Swords, this is the pianist, okay? Are the painter okay she's someone who um, works with a hand fire sign people works with a hand and you can see this person is trying to create whatever they're trying to create you're seeing this person is trying to create things for you the dominant so we're moving on. That was the energy of the hero sign. We're moving on. So you saw um, um, the, the ace of wands and you can see it is a new start. You're being given a new start. Okay. And this is, this is so good. You're definitely being given a new start. What I don't understand, but, um, and this was one of my questions, my question is that with this sign, the dominant um, it is that you're being offered something. Something is being offered to you. Are you going to take it? And this is absolutely fabulous. Okay. So let's put the people behind. And the thing about it with this deck, we have the prince, which is the young person. We have the, the princess. And then we have the knight and the queen. No king. <laughs> You know that it was done by a woman. All right. So let's um, go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We're going to be going from three off ones. So I love this. This is really a New York scene. If you live in New York, you have seen this at some stage of your life. Um, an apartment block is on fire and that. And then... You have to go look for a new place. You know, you, all your stuff is gone and uh, chaos. Okay. All right. The four of ones is um, really fantastic because the four of one energy is what it is doing. It is a really, really, really um, completion, completion of something. You're building on something. You're completing something. This is wonderful because there is going to be a celebration coming after this. Now, the, the five of ones, this is strive. The five of ones is a strive, strive between other people, competition. Okay, this is when other people are trying to competit, uh, um, uh, create competition. And the six of ones is one of my most favorite card in a deck. It is victory. It is victory. There you go. You are at the end point. You are victoriously coming over this end point. You are absolutely, absolutely victorious. Then we have the um, valor. And this is where you stand your ground. This is when you're saying, no, it's good. It's okay. But now this ends. And this is absolutely fabulous. Then we have swiftness. The eight of wands swiftness very good is the pick by a bicycle you're going fast you're moving fast you're moving away you're moving down the road this is absolutely brilliant and fabulously done fortune um and this is kind of weird 
This is weird. Fortitude. This is absolutely. You have those wall of protection beside you, behind you, as you move forward. And this is absolutely fabulous. So that your fortitude is uh, these walls that stands strong to protect you against anything that is coming up. Oppression. This is a ten of wands. And, okay, oppression. I would see the ten of swords as in prison. Um, this is absolutely fabulous. Well thought out. And this is brilliant. So we are going to be looking at the prince. Now the prince, this person is coming up as just came out of college, just came out of school, trying to make something as his own. Now the princess is a belly dancer. Now you will always find fire sign people in this sort of a thing. They hustle. They really hustle. Fire sign people really hustle. So this is beautiful. This is the the man that wants to create something. Now the knight is always uh, trying to find some gig. <laughs> uh, typical of fire sign, find some gig. But the older women are always on their own and always going in within to find out what it is that I need, what it is that is better for me. And this is so. So there is no king. There is no king in this deck. And this is fabulous. You can see that this deck was done by a woman. There's absolutely no king. And this is good. All right. So we're moving forward to the cup sign. And we have um, the Casanova, the illusionist. And they said the flim maker. Yes, because um, 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 <laughs> they're always uh, um, the illusionist, the flim maker. Okay. They're Casanova. So this is absolutely. And this is his opposite um, polarity and it is the costume drache yes because the queen of cu the cups the young cups people always uh, uh, looking beautiful always uh, so this is this uh, depicts them so very positive young um, water sign people always is looking for the limelight and uh, also looking for the positive now as we look at uh, um, yes, the older man is always going for a flim, looking for the next love. It's a water sign person. They always have a lot of lovers or looking, um, for love. And the women are always, um, you know, standing back, rethinking, looking back at the future. But while the men is always out trying to get the next uh, flim, and this is so positive. It's so well, it's so it's very good, um, thought out so ten of cups this is her uh she and her wife the author and the creator of this deck this is her and her wife in new york that is absolutely fabulous it's beautiful it is satisfaction so it is the energy of the ten of cups then we have the nine of cups which is happiness your wishes and dreams coming true this is really like in central park uh, uh, when you have picnics in the summertime in Central Park, this is, uh, um, you know, happiness and joy. That is a day that you felt the happiest in the entire year. And not until you live in New York and have some idea of what it is in New York, um, people will understand this deck. Now, the Eight of Cups is like, yeah, you had a fight over something. Everything is broken. You have regrets because you're awakened in the morning and seen the damage of just... Uh, um, miscommunication the night before the seven of cups this is absolutely fabulous it's like the world is your oyster truths bam 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 and that looks like my cosmopolitan mm, mm, mm. sex in the city so, <laughs> so there we go and then we have the six pleasure and pleasure is always with friends, okay? So pleasure, you can connect with um, the five hours of pleasure. And this is with friends. This is the one night stand. This is the friend that you have that you hit up once in a while and you get it going. And it's pleasure, but that is not something you want to have every day. You just hit it up once in a while. Then we have disappointments. 
Um, and this is again the fights. Um, it is the upsetness that you throw something in your finest um closet where all oh, your beautiful um cutleries and you know and it's a new york thing if you live in new york you walk by the streets in your heart now this four of cup and this is why i keep on saying to people four of cups is not regrets it's actually enjoying so if you look at these two guys and depict what is the four of cups they slept together for one is their first time this one he has always done it this one it was like he is the man he is a woman this is the topper this is the bottom he is like shit uh, I never tried that before but wow keep it on the down down nobody has to know there we go that is what I keep on saying. Whenever I sing that song in a reading, that is what I'm saying. Now, so celebrate. This is what it looks like. Times Square in New York. Um, um, when it's the changing of the year, this is what it looks like. If you have ever been to New York and go to one of these parties, you know exactly what that is all about. Two of Cups. This is meeting someone, having, um, you know, um, connecting. Um, so beautiful. Um, something new is about to bud. Okay, it's always a um, and you're trying to understand each other, having a coffee at a internet cafe, and this relationship is gonna bud in something. Ace of Cup. This one I was blown away with. Because it's fab. It's fab, fab, fab. And it's more fab, okay? I was blown away from this because this is just so positively depicted. All right. So we're going to the hurt sign, people. And I absolutely, absolutely love the energy of the hurt sign, people. Love, 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 okay? So we have the prince and the princess, then we have the queen, and we have the knight. All right, so the prince and the princess, so remember that this deck doesn't have any king. So the prince, he's coming up as a, the day trader, typical Capricorn person, okay? This is a young person, just come out of um, college and is um, hitting the marks at the trader. And then we have our young teacher over here. And, and you know, it's always the, the Capricorns. And this is it. This is um, the trader is the Taurus and the teacher is the Virgo or the, or the Capricorns. And this is absolutely wonderful. It's really difficult. This is the prince and this is the princess. And it's absolutely well done absolutely well done however this is transpiring it's absolutely well done now i love um the knight of pentacles it is the chef and yeah you will always find um when someone is good at their trade they're extremely good at their trade and then we have uh, um the materialist and she is wonderful. She's just absolutely fabulous. She's absolutely wonderful. She's beautiful. She is a person who has grace. She's eloquent. However, it looks she has grace and really full of elegant. And the chef, the Tauruses are always having a um, restaurant. Basically, always having a restaurant. They they thrive in this, okay? So wonderful, wonderful energy. So let's look at the Ace of Pentacles. I so beautiful, love this deck. I'm sorry, I such, such love this deck. This is the Ace of Pentacles, a beautiful, beautiful energy. It depicts a new start with your financial stability. Then we have the Two of Pentacles. You have choices, so many things that is going on. You have to make a decision, choices. So this is really good. Um, and this is a brilliantly done because it's all about, and this is what I'm always saying to people, 
you have to make some choices choices needs to be made three of Pentacles work collaboration um, you know creating something huge but with other people absolutely fabulous well nicely done um, with the energies of the three of Pentacles being depicted here one there two three absolutely fabulous the power is when you have bill this looks um, when you have bill and create your financial stability so you have uh, the power within you because you have bill and create your financial stability and it's absolutely absolutely fabulous then we have where is the five of Pentacles uh, yeah uh, insurance problem your health problems and this is it and this is what I'm saying it's not always the pick as money it's the pick as uh, you're in some hardship uh, it can be financial hardship hardship with your health hardship with kids hardship will coming around um, but here it is the five of Pentacles is basically hardship um, realizing that you're sick and you don't have the medicine uh, you can't pay um, your insurance in order to receive your medicine seeing that there is something really going on um, with you so wonderful the six of Pentacles is success its success is creating um, success in your world and success has come in um, a really beautiful depictment of pictures fantastic um, I'd love to interview her so if you're watching let's do an interview um, about your card deck because it absolutely fabulous absolutely the seven of Pentacles I don't know why they say the seven of Pentacles is about planting planting the seeds in order for it to grow and this is absolutely mind-boggling because this is about to, to spring out and this is going to create so much wonderful energies for everyone around you prudency this is you are at work you're eating you're working you're you're trying to finish off work so you're eating and that's basically me <laughs> sometimes I have to realize if I'm on camera I have to I'm, I'm this is you focusing on your work and doing your work now this is one of the um, this is a card when this card shows up you're about to get a lot of money okay a payout a big payout a lawsuit a big payout and this is absolutely fabulous okay this is the pick to, oh my god okay so I have gotten this big promotion this big payout I've gotten a big bonus yes extra money so fab 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 and more fab and the last ten of Pentacles this is a wealth card where this is family well this is hold money this is you suing for some deceptiveness and being paid out millions this is the money this is old money and family money and this is absolutely fabulous and by saying this we have the number 10 I am giving this box a 10 plus it is an amazing amazing box it is fabulous not only the box it's not that expensive neither because when I saw it two years ago yeah I saw it two years ago because it was done in 2015 I've been seeing it I've been trying to receive it and I'm glad I get this because I'm going to use this for my pull a card section these are big cards these are good card for the pull a card section which is and it's the herban time so it's just absolutely fabulous and good so I hope you enjoy this again um, it is the herban tar deck I'm giving it a big 10 plus it is absolutely fabulous I love it I love it inside of a red box I love the way the box is created it is absolutely fab 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 I like the infinity sign it is good the depictment um, she has done a wonderful um, job and here you have two cards that um, tell you and a message to you and the card um, show you the infinity sign and it says infinity 
an external loop that follows around and word endlessly upon its time, using the present, the set of the major arcana, which together represent um, the continuing journey each of us have to do. I absolutely love this deck. As I said, the energy is the energy of uh, the infinity sign, which is here. If you notice my videos, I've been carrying the energy of the infinity sign. Then we have the fire sign. We have the water sign. We have the hair sign and we have the heart sign. Okay. I want to say thank you so much for returning. Please share, share, share these videos. I would appreciate it. I am saying I love you guys. I am in the last week of the month, last Saturday of the month. I am here for pull a card so I can do your reading from this deck. I love you. Namaste. <music>